Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Gnome Reviews here. Tonight, we're just going to take a few minutes to explain to people that don't have much knowledge on the 5.7x28 caliber why 5.7 is better than rimfire cartridges like 22 long rifle or 22 magnum. Over the years, I've heard people make comments like, well, 5.7 is no better than 22 magnum. And I got a comment on one of my videos earlier expensive 22 long rifle so i figured i'd go ahead and show you all the differences real quick here's 22 long rifle rim fire here is some 5.7 by 28 offerings we'll go through all these here in a couple minutes but the main advantages for 5.7 over rim fire is the reliability of centered fire and second, the ballistics and bullet construction of 5.7 compared to the rimfire cartridges. So we're going to go through these different bullet types right here, one by one. Another thing that I just want to mention is velocity. My buddy Buffman Range was just telling me that even out of a 5.7 pistol, you know, None of these rimfire cartridges can come close to 5.7 velocity. And speed kills armor, so that was the main purpose for 5.7. 5.7's in between 9mm and 5.56. I've never understood what's so hard for people to understand about that. All right, let's start with the Elite Ammunition 27 grain T6B. It is a 27 grain segmented copper solid using a C scale hardness. And it's ex an exotic copper. This is the 27 grain Elite Ammunition T6B full mag. This round right here, the Wound Channel used to have a video of this round going through a ballistic helmet like a piece of paper. And unfortunately, that the Wound Channel, their stuff was taken down or removed. So that video is not available anymore, unfortunately. But I've seen this round go through a ballistic helmet like a piece of paper. All right, let's keep going. Next, FNSS 190, 31 grain, steel penetrator with an aluminum core on the SS 190. I've seen this round on Buffman Range Channel go through three soft armor panels back to back to back. Let's see any, uh, let's see any of your rimfire cartridges do that, Logan. Next, SM855A1, 40 grain, made by 80 teeth. This one has a steel tip, hardened steel penetrator, and a copper backing. I would love to see what this will do against some level 3A armor or a ballistic helmet. Then, of course, you've got FN SB193, the subsonic offering from FN, also restricted to law enforcement and military sales. We'll go through 3A all day long. 55 grain Sierra Game King, full metal jacket, boat tail bullet on the SB193. Let's see here. We've got Vanguard, Black Dragon Fang. The Vanguard is a B-scale copper segment, a B-scale copper segmented solid. This is the 34 grain Black Dragon Fang from Vanguard. And then you've got the Vampire Fang, which is just a sharpened version of the Black Dragon Fang. Let's see here. And then the last one, this last one I threw in just because this is what I zeroed my uh, aim point two two micro width on my rifle. It's a 27 grain SS 198 LF. It's an aluminum core hollow point, also restricted, but this one's usually easily able to get. Um, like I said, I don't want this to be a long video. I just wanted to go over these different bullet types and explain that. 5.7 isn't even comparable to these rimfire cartridges in any way. 
what it all comes down to, like I've said in the beginning of the video, is ballistics and bullet construction. The center, you got center, you get center fire reliability, and then the bullet construction and velocities. You just can't beat it. It's perfect for like a PDW setup. Every single one of these rounds that we're looking at here will defeat 3A body armor, except the 27 grain SS198 LF. But all the rest of these will go through 3A, especially these guys. Anyways, we're at about six minutes. Enough talking. If you got any questions, comment below. Definitely check out the Buffman Range video channel if you want to see any ballistics, armor, gel tests on any of these loads. 5.7 is my favorite caliber, so I just wanted to do a quick video on some of the defense offerings that I carry personally. Hope you enjoyed the video. No reviews out.